Electrostatics, example of a uniform infinite plate charge. This is going to be a very short video because we've already done the work in a previous example for the uniform finite circular plate. Here are the answers that we got. The total charge was the charge density times the, the area of our surface charge, which is pi r squared in this case. And we got this second expression for the total electric field. However, that total electric field was observed on the z-axis at a height z above this circular plate charge. Now for the infinite plate, the radius is infinite and the area becomes infinite. So what is the total charge? Well, the total charge was rho s times s. However, our area is now infinite because the radius has gone out to infinity. So a uniform charge density times infinite area gives us infinite charge. And that is the answer. Now, if the charge density were not uniform, depending on what that looked like, we could actually get an answer that's not infinity, particularly if the charge density decayed to zero as you increased distance away from the z-axis. So what is the total field? Well, this was our original expression for the field from a finite circular plate. For the infinite plate, r goes to infinity. So we plug in infinity, the denominator here, that makes the denominator a very large number, infinite, and so any number divided by infinity goes to zero. So in fact, that term vanishes and we just end up with the char surface charge density divided by two. Notice this is a uniform field. It does not decay with distance, which is very interesting. So for the infinite surface charge, no matter how far away you are from that, the electric field has the same amplitude.